supposed to be the first two times nothing and then after okay i get it wow good morning good morning oh my god oh my god oh my god Welcome, welcome. We have a very, very choshu guest here. Rabbi Yoki Marinov from our Koilo, person that knows Shas Pal Peh. He took a. I've never learned Menachem. <laughs> <laughs> I've never learned Menachem before. He, ta- he, takes, he takes the Dirshu test and he scores in the high 90s on 1500 daf, on 100 daf, on 30 daf every month. Yeah. You should call him for being a big part of the Koilo. What do you got going he sent there? Send me as a shaliach on the Koilo to give you a very special bottle of wine. <laughs> Wine the Hexer of the Bezdin, of the new Bezdin just opened up. Supposed to zoom, zoom, ah, shtiko zoom, yeah. Do that, Bezdin just opened up. Ah, very nice, very nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, I have to read this whole thing? You don't have to read, you can do whatever you want. I have to go get the other, the other, the uh, one in this too. It says, all I read is the bottom line. It says, warning, if you drink too much of this, you might understand the sheer. <laughs> okay. Shkoya. I'm a little nervous what's coming up. Okay, Givaldi. I can't read the whole thing. I have to read the whole thing? <laughs> Last year they gave me a battle from Rukhaim Kenievsky. It had a, a lot, a lot of jokes on it. And today, they're making fun. I got it. Okay. We're going we're gonna to read the whole back. It takes, it takes a long time. A lot of jokes and stuff. Ah, Lit. Get over here, Lit. We're looking for some. <laughs> <laughs> At least he got the shirt right. <laughs> so, you know that in Yuvamis we had this woman here. Where's my. Oh, this is. What do you want? <laughs> it's the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> Da, 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 da. Don't yeah. open up yet. It's for the mission on Amud Beis. You have a mission on Amud Beis. We want to thank Tom for going to six pet stores to help us out. Oh no, thank there's something real in there. 
this is this is the am best. I supposed to am I supposed to open this thing up? The Mishnah on Amud Beis. It's for the Mishnah. Uh. Ah. We just get to all the it. The Mishnah on Amud Beis. I shouldn't look inside. The Mishnah on Amud Beis. <laughs> all right. So Rabbi Sai, as we have a Yerushalmi Yid in the back, this is what his wife looks like. Let me just show you real quickly. She has the cell phones in the tichel, and last night somebody came dressed up as that lady right over here. Let me show you the cell phone. Let's zoom in. <laughs> He's from the Hebrew Shear. His name is Yoel. He's a big Balkirsha. Now, we also, this is the Shoymer Kishuim that uh, a lot of people thought was one of the best pieces of art of the year. And Rabbi David Steinhardt, where El Yagim said he came in dressed up as the Shoymer Kishuim, was Givalde. I want to show you how they do it. Where's the Yerushalmi? Chavali left now. Well, he would have really loved this screen. video. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> we put a picture of a lady up. Here's how they do Kriya Samagila in Gaza. <laughs> Everybody saw that. We got them together also. <laughs> By the way, each one gets better. Oops, three people died in Gaza. No, no. no. <laughs> Okay. There's more, there's more, Rabbi said, there's more. Let's hear me go. <laughs> he doesn't stop. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Did I show the English sheer um, Simcha Sassim's piece? No. So, in why is there why is the birds? <laughs> okay, <laughs> I have to get those gloves. You got me some gloves? No. Nope. <laughs> Ah, the like kilo, uh, whatever. Okay, so Rabbi Isai, we have uh, the privilege in Bnei Yeshiva's next door. We have the the Rosh Hashiva from Sussman's. His name is Reb Simcha Sussman. He dances with us, and he's also a very, very good singer. He's uh, one of the the singers from Shalshelas, and he comes up with a good shtick, one of the best shticks I ever heard in my life. It's hard to you have to be in the matzav. You're sitting there on Shabbos afternoon, erev Purim. And he gets up to daven for Musaf. And this is what he did for Musaf. Rabbi Isai, here goes. Alright, Raboisai Shkoyach, we're holding on Daf. Chof Dalid Omud Beis. Oh, Omud Beis. Day sixteen hundred. Today's Daf Chofei. 
Oh, Yishkoyach says of David Feinberg, today is 1600 days for me, consecutive, on Purim. Ah, we'll celebrate later on. 1600 daf, tremendous. The Masechta is sponsored by Anonymous for the safe and speedy return of all the hostages. Paras HaChoydish. Nishma Zachai B'Moshe, Nishma Zachai B'She Yosef. Paras HaChoydish, Aaron Freyman, it should be a schos, the rebellion of the Knesset, Yad Hashemai, teaching Torah, the Kla Yisrael. Paras HaChoydish, Rav Shleim, Eli Melech, Ben Tzipoyro, Paras HaYoyim, Yisrael Weiss, in honor of Eli Asher's birthday, the 14th of Adar, the art of the month, and Adam's with the schos, when he's a childbirth for his daughter and a healthy baby. Rabbi Isai, we're starting a brand new Mishnah. Sponsored by who? By Zosso. No. Yeah. Yeah. So, first of all, last night at the Oilam came, uh, two Shiurim, very nice showing to learn. On a Purim night, many people came over to me. Many. Three people came over to me afterwards and they said they haven't learned a word on Purim their entire life. This is the first time. It's a tremendous chos. The, the, uh, who was it? Ben, no, Ezer, Ezer. The, uh, somebody was born. One of the G'dayla Adar attributes the fact that he's a G'dayla Adar because his father learned the whole night of Purim when nobody else was learning. Now that we're sitting here, Purim morning. <laughs> I just I forget I forget quickly. Sorry. So you let it. I it says you let it be shocker. You let it be shocker for Anova. You you let it say it's other gdolim. You let it pretend it's another gadol. Anyway. Yeah 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 yeah. That's what there is. <laughs> but the sit put in morning. Before eight o'clock, and to learn a full hour or a half hour plus a half hour of, of, of litzonas. But to, to start off the day, to start off the day with Torah is unbelievable. Look at this packed house. You can't. You, there's not even a seat to be found. That's what Dafyomi is. That's what you guys are. You're the few, the proud, the ones who learn. And every day, no matter what, I'm Purim on Yom Kippur. We, when we started Elam Etzias, the Mishnah says, the first Mishnah says, we did sponsors. Elam Etzias Shaloi, you drank already. Be'elu Chayiv Lahachriz. Elam Etzias Shaloi, these are the Etzias that you get to keep. Matzah Peirois Mufuzarim, you found scattered fruit. So our Mishnah is going to say the reverse. What if you found fruit that's in some sort of kli? <laughs> this thing... Can we just get to it? <laughs> no. Was, it's okay. We don't have to stop in the middle of learning, Yosef, for this. A new Mishnah spot. May every Mishnah we conquer take us from strength to strength. I'm not saying, oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Mois Mufuzaroi, he found money that's scattered. So our mission is going to talk about money that's not scattered. Kricha is Mishra Rabbim. Nachman Seltzer, what's a Kricha? This is a Kricha. Wheat. So we're talking about in Mishra Sarabim. In our mission is going to be Mishra Sayyachid. Igulit Vela. We're not going to. Kikosh and Nachtim. Breads that are from a bakery. What's the opposite? Breads from a Balabayas. Etc., etc. So let's see. And it also talks about Gizei Tzemer al Kuchim in Medinasan, wool that comes right off the animal. We're going to talk about wool that's already processed. Zok, the Heilig and Mishnah, the Avchavdal, the Roman Beis. Velem Chayom Lachers. These are the things that you must announce. Motza, Peroiz Bikli, you found fruit inside a vessel, so the Kli itself has a simon. The fruit might not, but the Kli does. A kli, Forget the fruit. You found a kli. Mois bekis. We're gonna to have to get rid of this box because it's taking up my. I'm doing a demonstration here. We're gonna to have to figure out what to do soon. Mois bekis. You found money in a wallet. Oy kis kemoishu. If there's a day in the year, if there's a day in the year that this mission is appropriate, what day do you think people lose money, scattered money everywhere, wallets, people? Like that, uh, we have to get, if anybody knows the guy from Bardak, we got to get him to the shir. He did a great piece. 
Uh, he lives down the road, I know, but we need to get him to this year. A lot of people live down the road and they don't come to this year. So I don't know if you saw his latest thing for Purim. He, he basically, he gets up. Uh, there's a goat licking his face. He wakes up. He's like, what's going on? They explain to him it's Purim. And as soon as he like comes to, the Rosh Hashim says, thank you so much. I mean, I mean such a beautiful Nadav. And he says, first of all, who are you? He says, you know, we met on Purim. And how much was my beautiful Nadava? He says, two million shekel. <laughs> and he's like, I, I didn't see the rest. I didn't see the rest. I want to see the rest. But it's... So sometimes your wallet, it turns out empty. You don't know how and where. There's money everywhere. You don't know where your wallet is. Purim, mamish today. Tziburi peyros, piles of fruit. Tziburi mois, piles of, of money. Top of chafei and aleph. Three coins, one on top of the other. We're going to see in the Gemara how it works. What does it mean, one on top of the other? What, any, any way, either way, we'll see. If you have this, you got it? Not bread. Huh? Not to you, I'm telling the Klai Yisrael. Oh, we have a picture. There's breads that an individual makes. Every individual, like Chong, he makes his own thing. And wool. That somebody processed already, so it has a simon. Barrels of wine, barrels of oil. Now, if you were here last night, don't answer this. And if you took a test on all of Shas, don't answer this. <laughs> A barrel of wine, what is the simon? What is the simon on a barrel of wine, Rabbi say? They all look the same. Who said? Very nice, very nice. Because yesterday I asked the question, and there's a lot of people there. The adults, unfortunately, didn't remember, but a 10 year old screamed out, Roisham. And he knew two questions that the adults didn't know. Okay, it happens sometimes. Oh. Kadi, I'm Kadi Shevet. You're saying all the amount, okay? Yeah. What about Mokim? Okay. Kadi, I'm Kadi Shevet. Hare Luchayiv Lahachriz. So if you if you find a barrel of wine that has a simon or not, nah, whatever, maybe somebody has a simon, you have to be machriz. Time with the matzah pears be clear, moyz be clear. It seems from the Mishnah that you find the money inside a wallet. You find the fruit inside a vessel. You have to give it back. Hakli will the fun of peros kiss will the fun of mice if you have a vessel a kli and in front of it are peros you have a while in front of, so we have so yeah okay so if it's like this oh there's a little a little friend came here during the night okay. Oh, okay. What? What do we have to clear? Yeah, all that's filling. We got to go backwards. Oyerbach. And what's this? I see something over here. Oh, that's his. Okay, I got it. Okay. Kiss the photo boys. Harel shloi. Tanila Torah baron. What? We're getting there. Jonathan, patience. Just take patience. I know it's not as exciting as, you know, your Shulchan Aruch thing, but hold on a second. Tanila Atar Rabbanon. Matzah Kli Lufan of Peiroiz. Mevais Nishtafer the Haba Arbet. You know what I'm saying? Wait, wait a little bit. Tanila Atar Rabbanon. Matzah Kli Lufan of Peiroiz. So Mamash Arayi from Abraisa. If you find the Kli and Peiroiz are in front of it, Kis Lufan of Mois. Harei Lishaloi. No Achrasa. You don't have to announce it, you take it. What about Miksasa Mikli and Miksasa Nagami Karka? Miktsasa on here, he takes some of these. Mamish. Chayev lahachriz. Half and some of it inside, some of it out. So you, it's nicker, you see, that obviously these guys are outside, came from inside. Look, there's a certain uh, reason, flow. Vermino, we have a question. Motza dover shame by simon, but sad dover shesh by simon. You find something, but sad dover shame, you shesh by simon. You find a wallet empty, and next to it we have cash. Chayiv lahachris. There's a problem. We just said 
You get to keep it. Now it says, Chayiv Lahachriz. Bobal Simen Venatal Shaloi comes, the person that claims he has some sort of Simen on the wallet, and he takes the wallet. There's two products here, there's, there's two items. There's the wallet and there's the cash. The guy says, I recognize the wallet. He wasn't thinking. So he left the cash. So who gets to keep the cash? The guy that found both the wallet and the cash. Akaban, we have a steer because we said that if you find payroys outside of the Kli, it's yours. And over here it says, Even if he was present. Even if he said, Yeah, I guess. Uh, I, it might be. Okay. We're talking about two different items here. So, Kuba Vikitano. Let's get rid of these for a second. Let's say this is flags. Yeah? So, if the flags was in here, uh, whatever, it fell out. If you look over here, there small pieces, you know, there's DNA evidence inside here from the flax. So Mamela, if it's completely empty, then you don't give it back. Why? Because it's a raya, if it was flax, it should have left some residue. The other one is talking about fruit. If they're completely out, it doesn't leave anything. It just leaves. There's not supposed to be any residue to so that. You don't return. I mean, you return fruit because there's no raya just because it's outside that didn't come from inside. Where it comes to, when flax is a raya, if it's completely clean, obviously the flax didn't come from there, therefore you get to keep it. No, we're talking about a basket with fruit. So again, so if there's some inside and some outside, it's a raya that it came, all the other fruit came from inside the basket. You can say another shot. No, there's nothing inside. Everything's outside. Look, Asher. Ha, the Mahadra Pei, the Gabi Pei. Ha, the Mahadra Pei, the Gabi Pei. So, very posh. If the fruit is over here, and this vessel is like this, so it doesn't look like they're connected. If the opening of the vessel is facing the fruit, so obviously the fruit came from it. If it's facing away, it didn't come from it. Be boy say mahava hod mahadra pele gabe pere no it's facing veloy kashi hod isle oignin litsano hod lesle oignin litsano so if it has oignin like this you see how this kli i think this is oignin okay you can learn different shot it has a little bit of uh so look what happens when you start you see some came out even though i'm tipping it over like this it's still holding it why because it has a little bit of a, I don't know what it is exactly. It's a rim? No, this is a rim. It, it goes in, it has oignin, it has, what does the article say it's called? Shvach. It has oignin, okay? So therefore, if they're all out, you get to keep it. Because there's reason to believe that they should have, some should have stayed in. Fashtays Jonathan? Okay, you found it. Oh! Finished. So we're done with that. Moving on to the next one. Tiburi pears and Tiburi mice. Thank you. Oh, thanks for the chizak. I need the Jonathan. I need the you. It's together. It's a tziruf. Tiburi pears and Tiburi mice. So when we have piles, you get to announce it. You have to announce. What's going on here? What do you have to announce? You only announce when there's a simon. What's the simon when you have piles? Obviously, you're going to announce you found fruit. So I'm going to tell you there's six piles. So for that, I can say, no, it's not a big raya. Tenei tzibur peres. Instead of using a lashon rabim, tzibure, that there's piles. We're talking about one pile. Obviously, if there's one pile, then there's no simon. It's only one. So if there's no simon about Talking about the amount, so what is the simon? You're announcing it, so what is the simon? Then you have to say that the simon, shamis minah, makim have a simon. Then there's a raya that, whatever, again, 
Only uh, if you don't remember this, try to answer it. If you remember, don't answer. Who, which Amorayim argued whether Mokayim is a simon or not? Huh? Not you. Everybody remembers it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now everybody remembers it. Who? who? Robin Rava. Robin Rava. Mokayim have a simon or not? So, you see from here, Shamas mean all mokim have a simon. I don't remember which one said what. Rabba. Okay, I believe you. So, we must say that there's another simon. If you're saying that the amount is not a simon, why? Because there's only one pile. So then what is he announcing? Oh, he's announcing the place. So interesting that over here now, we're changing what place means, right? Rebbe Typically, place means I announce I found something in the corner of this and this place, and you have to tell me what it is. The, you have to tell me the item. Now I'm announcing I found a pile of oranges. You have to tell me the place. That's what Rashi says. You have Simon been mocking plenty in Nachtim. So for that I can answer today, Tziburi Peirois. I'm gonna I'm gonna read it the plural. That's what's going on here. In other words, you cannot prove anything from the Mishnah. If you want to prove to me that Mokim is a simon, I'm going to say, no, no, no. It's talking about three piles. Tzibure. Oh, so you see that the mouth is a simon. No, no, no. It says Tzibur. Oh, so it's, and you just go in a circle, so I can't prove anything. It just seems like that if you have both of them, then that's for sure a simon. If you have a Mokim and a amount, then it's a simon. You have three coins, one on top of the other. Omer Rebbe Yitzchak, Migdallah, Vusha, Asuyin, Kimigdallin. We're talking about that the three coins, we have three ancient coins here. They're one on top of the other, and as the Gemara is going to explain, that the widest one is on the bottom, and it just goes up. we got to get a little bit of better zoom, maybe. Oh, very good. So the Maris Chai says what you're saying, that because of this Gemara right over here, his name is, they gave him a nickname, Migdullah. He's only brought down in Shas five times. This is the fifth time. So it could be that that's what he says. I mean, imagine being brought down in Shas. He said Allah one time. You get to be in Shas, millions of people, millions of, of times. It's a beautiful thing. So this is Migdal. We, you know what? Let's put it like this. Like this. Okay. Says the Gemara. They're a tower. When it's wider on the bottom and it keeps on going up, you must announce it. What does it mean? There's one, three coins, one on top of the other. Ask the Gemara of the Gemara. On the one hand, you say if you find coins that are scattered, you'll have to keep it. So I'm going to be medayi ko mishal chafei shal chufei chayv lahachres. If they're like this, I can't see really. Whoa. Yeah, you see it? It's not a tower. They're laying flat on the ground, but each one, part of it is on the other one. So it seemed like, you get to keep it. It's only when it's in a tower you have to be machres, but any other way you're allowed to keep it. Ema Seifa, what about the Seifa? Asuyin ki migdolim, chayim la'achriz. Sorry. Amr is what's the moiz mefuzaris, let's start from the top. Amr is what's the moiz mefuzaris, haray lo shaloi. Ho mishachu shalchufei, chayim la'achriz. If they are scattered, you get to keep it. If it's in this tzura, you have to be machriz. Ema Seifa, asuyin ki migdolim, chayim la'achriz. If it's like a tower, you have to announce. Ho mishachu shalchufei, haray lo shaloi, you get to keep it. Tano, says Gemara, no. Kol sh asuyin ki migdolim, with... We're talking about a migdal. Let's drink a little bit more wine. L'chaim, l'chaim. When it's not like a tower, mifuzaris karleu. The tano, anything that's not like a like a tower, is immediately is considered scattered, and you're allowed to keep it. We're talking about three different kings, three different denominations. 
Avashol melech echod, in In other words, three different sizes. If it's one size, one type, three, three ten shekels, three quarters, it's not a simon. As the Gemara, that doesn't make sense. Why? If somebody placed them there deliberately, so it's obvious that he put it there, he didn't lose it. So what's the difference? What the denomination is? And if they're not made like towers, if it's just scattered, who cares how many kings? This is what it means. It has to be like like a like a one king, it's, if it's one king, then it has, it's like three kings. In other words, they have to be in this surah, the wider one on the bottom, and as it goes up, it gets narrower and narrower. Kim I got this, two people told this to me, I'm going to say this over, that Rabbi Zilberstein says that in Jordan, there's once a guy in Jordan, a Maisa Shehoya, Maisa Shehoya, he says, a guy was in Jordan, and a bill fell out of his pocket, and he's chasing, he was, he was flying in the wind, so he, right before he, got, he stepped on it, so he could catch it. And a cop saw him, and because he stepped on a bill that had the king's face on it, he gave him a tremendous fine. And in, in Nepal, if you step on a bill, they could put you in jail for five years. Nepal, 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 whatever it's called. Naples. That's what is Naples? The bomb that they threw on Jew- Naples. <laughs> Naples. Napalm. Okay. Naples in Italy and then it's Nepal. Lay it down. It was in Hebrew. It was Numpe Lamed. I don't know. Naples. It was a Naples. All right. So he says, then a week later, the guy had a, a page pulled out of his Gemara, I was like Purim, and he wanted to learn a little bit, and it flew away in the wind. So he was chasing, and he was thinking, wait a minute, if I can't step on a bill, maybe Kabbalah Choyim, I can't step on this. She said, no, on a, on a, on a Daf Gemara, you're allowed to, if, if, it's going to keep on flying, and be Mavuza, and it's going to get destroyed, so you're not just doing the Daf a favor. Okay. It's my sister, Shiyoch Aliyos. Rabbi Oh, sorry, no, where am I? We're holding by the king. Oh, they can do that. So you can make dollar. Revi Chotato. I have no. Where's my Where's my money? Oh, here we go. The widest one is on the bottom. Umetzia lave, and then the middle one is on top of that. Vezute lave, metzia, and the the smallest one is on top of the middle one. Damrin and Anuchi Anchinu. Obviously, somebody left it there. Somebody dropped it there. Or put it there, sorry. Somebody put it there, but mainly you have to be machris. Mm-hmm. But if it's all the same size, the kuluki adadi ninu, afagav the manche adadi, even though they're placed on top of each other, harieelu shaloi. You get to keep it, why? A boy said, help me out over here. You get to keep it, why? Eimar is remuye isrami, ba'ade adadi nafo. It's possible that all three fell and they landed on top of each other. I was sitting there for an hour and a half. My wife is asking, what are you doing? And I'm like, nope, uh, nope, nope. Okay, it's impossible. It doesn't work. So the best we could come up with is perhaps he was sitting and maybe came out of his pocket. I bought a special couch. I went to the place and I asked the guy, he said, give me a couch that whoever sits on this couch, the coins fall out of his pocket. <laughs> And every few weeks I go, we have a big party. We see how much money we can collect. So maybe are you sitting down and they all three fell out of his pocket and they landed on top of each other. Maybe he put it down unknowingly, put it there. He's spacing out, like subconsciously he's putting it down. So it's not really an afila, but it's not a hanacha. I don't know. The boy said, help me. You also tried dropping it? You knew beforehand that's not going to work. I thought maybe I'll be like that dude. What is it called? That kid that does all the crazy stuff? Shots? Perfect dude. Dude perfect. Dude perfect. He, he throws credit cards across the room. And sometimes after like a thousand sh- tries, it goes into a, a shredder. Or he does with the, I'll, I'll ask him to, to try this. Maybe, yeah, look, look it up. Maybe it's... 
Maybe did it already. Rabbi Yochanan, my feel is Shomel Chachon Nami Machir. It says Rabbi Yochanan, what are you talking about? You find three coins. Obviously, what are the chances it fell out of a guy's pocket like that? It's much more. It's much more likely that somebody put it there. So when this guy announces, what does he announce? Well, he puts up a sign. My machres, minion. He's machres. He says, I found a certain amount. My year yet lost off. So then why does it have to be three? Two also. Omar Avinu Tiva machres. He says, I found coins. So the other guy has to say, oh, I lost X amount. And also it was in a certain way. It was built a certain way. It was like, it was like a tower. It was lying this way. Boy, Rabbi Yirmiya, Kashir Mau. Here, can I have my, uh, I don't know if this is going to work. Uh, give me my, uh, my tomatoes, please. We're going to do Kashir. So Kashir, if, if you guys don't know what a bracelet is, this might help Jonathan a little bit. Here, like this. Jonathan, you see what's going on here? It's, yeah, it's hard. We don't have, we need one of those cameras. Here, this one. Here, it's fine. Say you get, you got. You know what? I'll turn it around slowly and you'll chop what's going on there. Uh, okay. Is that a seven that it's in a circle? Kishura Mahu. Let me show Jonathan Raboisa here. Move out of the way. It's straight. Kachatsuva Mahu. It's like a segel. If you don't know what it looks like, look at Rashi. It's a beautiful picture. You guys see that picture in Rashi? It's three dots, like a segel. Kisula Mau. Oh, Kisula Mau. This is a good one. Oh, you're going to love this. Kisula means that this one is over here. Avrami, I need a zoom, please. No, no, just zoom all the way into this thing. Yeah, after the, after the charity event. Okay, so you see how each one leans over the other? It's like steps. Steps. Oh, let me, let me move this away. Put this over here. He built steps right over here. Okay, great. Okay, like that. Just like, like an escalator. Who, what? Escalonish. Escalonish. Escalator. Yvaldic. They didn't have escalator back then, but okay. It's, it's stairs. That's what escalator is. Okay. Maybe I could, if I don't have a shot, I'll get at least one. I don't know about the, the circle. I'll get one. If I could grab all three of them in one shot, obviously he's talking about the escalator. Why? Because it goes like this. Watch this. It's not going to work when you do it on live TV. Look, you go like this. Oh, wow. <laughs> we practice on the Israelis. Okay. So, Mela, that's the one that we know. That's a simon. Boy, Ravashi. And the stones are put in a certain way. Maybe I... Okay, we'll, we'll, we're my, okay. Toshma, the Sanya, Motsa, Moismu, Fuzaris, Hare, Lushaloi. Now, oh, sponsors. Spurim, Nair, Totman of Baltimore, Maryland, and Honor, Fishel, and Simple Gross, thanks to them, 137 people learned. Over 16,000 Dava Gemara and over 727,000 minutes. Three quarters of a million minutes of Torah, Babakama with MDY. So, what if he placed the stones like Kulis, Toshma? Sometimes the raya that the Gemara brings is literally the raya that we're looking for. It's not like a diok, it's mam, it says in the raya, the sanya. If you find scattered coins, you can keep it, Kavani based Kulis. Oh, mam's the question. The stones of Kulis, Chayv Lachers, Velo, Kavani based Kulis. What does it mean? It means that there's two like this and one on top of them, like so. That's not good. Maybe I could use Svarim for this because 
Here we'll do it over here. Two like this, and this one is on top. Okay. This is a Sif in Shulchan Aruch. Yeah, you know about this? The Sif in Shulchan Aruch that talks about what if you do Svarim like this? Two Svarim like this, and one Sefer on top. Are you over on oil on Shabbos? So it says no, because you don't want the ear underneath it. However, if... Oh. If you want, very good. If you're doing this for barrels, so you want the ear underneath it, you want the circulation, then it's also because of an oil, this exact concept. We had stories about this already, so we're not going to go into it again, but basically you find money, comes a guy who's jealous, and he tells you, no, it's mine, I'll prove it to you. It's brand new. It's a type of coin. It has, it has this king on it. Even it has his name. We said the story about the guy that wrote his name on a bill, and he, he, said, in front, he said in front of his shver to his wife, said, I wonder if we're going to get this back. And the shver thought that he's making fun of him. But really what he meant is, I want to see if my name is going to come back to circulation. So people write their name on shtaris. That's not a simon. Why? There's no simon on a coin. Oh, it's possible that, nafal, here we go, nafal. It's possible that usually money is like so, it's to spend, and just because you have a simon means nothing. Says the Elegant Mishnah, sponsored by, oh yeah, baby. Uh, I don't know the rest. <laughs> That's all he cares about. Okay, great. I'm poor, we'll say it. Hagofa. Hagofa is this right over here. You have a, a fence made out of wood. Or behind a... Is it coming up? Of course I want it. Is that? Put it over here. The whole sheer. No. Does it change? <laughs> it, they even had eggs already. I thought Gizalis don't have eggs yet. These are clean eggs too. Zoom in on this for a second. They don't clean them on Purim, I guess. Okay, so f- you found Gezolus Bukusharim behind a wooden fence or behind uh, a regular fence made out of stone. Or <laughs> on the pathways by the fields. You shouldn't take them. Don't take them. Why? <laughs> <laughs> no, on the t- if it wasn't, you would have a other time. <laughs> okay, no. How come they stopped talking? <laughs> you have full control. <laughs> we need them. <laughs> okay, now I want them to stop. Skvalnik, wow. Now I wanted to go. <laughs> Stop! Skvalnik. Okay. It's unbelievable. So, don't tell me this was the same device that was in the fish that you gave me last year. <laughs> 
You guys remember that fish? Fish. He said that he's a uh, neshama from this. Is all. Okay. Zakti Yamara. So the Mishnah says like this. You found these gazolas. Now check this out. If you find a kli in the in a pile of, we have, we actually have a picture here. You find the kli. Here's a nice Rolex watch. I don't know if you can see it clear. There we go. In the pile of garbage. If it's covered, obviously somebody put it there to hide. But if you find it on top like that, you should announce it. Says the Gemara, my time up. How come it is? We have a problem. Don't be a big tzaddik. Don't do hashavas aveda to something that doesn't have a simon. But you know that it's possible somebody placed it there. Because if you start announcing it, the guy that's the true owner, he can't get it back. He doesn't have a simon. All he knows is he put it behind that wall. When he's finishing his shop, when he finishes his shopping, he'll come back and he'll grab them. You being your tzaddik and doing a shabbos avedah is going to ruin it for him. He'll go. You know how the asilim marayu v'shakalu. You should leave it there until the real owner comes and let him take care of it. V'amai asked the gemara, levi kesher simana. The the knot that you tie, there's so many different knots that should be a simin. Omer rabba bar zav domer rab b'mukshor b'chanfeim. You have two birds that are that are <laughs> they are tied by their wings. But but they're tied by their feet. <laughs> wings. Yeah, these guys are the wings. Okay, whatever. That's the next part of the month. Yeah. Th- that's normal, so it's not a simon. This is how people tie it. So asking more of eleven mocking simon. You could say I found I lo- I put them down at this in this place. Says the Gemara, here it is. Let, look at this picture first. Oh, we have got to start over. Here we go. You ready? Look at this, the pigeons. Because they move. Oh. Oh. This guy, his friend is not doing well. <laughs> not bad. That's good. That's ganz fine. Even with that, then. Even Jonathan now chaps what's going on. Even my dad and my mom also. It's not me. So the more even with even with dad and my mom also mutarim. So if they move, so this whole place is not. They came from three blocks away. Says the Gemara, "Gilam ei my mom also, v'gilam ei my mom." In the shots, new. It's possible that it came from somewhere else. It's possible somebody put it here. Vavali suffik inuach. So now I don't know whether or not somebody put it here or not. I have a suffik. Omer Rabbi Razav, Omer Rav, suffik inuach lechatchila lo yitol. When you have a suffik, don't take it lechatchila. Vim notal. And if you do take it, loy yachzer, you shouldn't put it back. Don't put it back to the place that you found it. Why? Because perhaps the owner went by there to get his chickens. His birds, and they weren't there, so now he gave up. So what do you do with it? It says, "Vim notal," and if you take it, lo yachzer, you don't put it back. So what do you do with it, Rabbi Isai? What do you do with it? Huh? You have to keep it until the Navi comes. You have to put it in your special Eliyahu Navi pile, and maybe you can go first, like Rabbi Galinsky, you go to the front of the line when Eliyahu Navi comes. Whatever, but you're not allowed to use it yourself. No, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm pointing it out that it's not yours. But you don't put it back. It's an in-between thing. You're stuck with it. You have to take care of it forever. If, if you go to move, then why? You, then if you leave it there, then the owner is going to find it. Right. That's why you have to leave it there. Beautiful. That's why you have to leave it there. No, but he's also not going to find it anyway because it's going to move away. He knows that. He put it there. He knows exactly. He knows they could walk three feet Ooh. every hour, and he'll look around over there. Multiply by ashba mechusa loyiga boy megula noitel machres. You find something nice in the in the oh. Hold on a second. We have a little chart here. So there's three categories in Aveda. We'll do it real quick. If it's completely watched, you're not allowed to take it. Like it's completely in the garbage can but underneath. Mishtamir b'miktas means so like behind the fence kind of. Then you take it. And if it has a simon, then you 
could be machers. If it doesn't have a simon, you're ruining it for the guy. So leave it there. If it's completely exposed, like on top of the garbage can, then you take it and you make your machers, and without a simon, you take it for yourself. Says the Gemara like this. Viriminu. If you find something in a, po- a heap of garbage and it's buried, you take it and you announce it. Why? They're going to take it. The garbage here, we, have, we actually have a picture if you want to know what that looks like. Oh, somebody sent me a video. Chaval. I should have shown Tomer's video. Huh? I can't put it in now. It's on my phone. Huh? South Africa, if anybody was jealous uh, of what's going on over there, so there's a beautiful video that Tomer sent me of Osli Panos. The guy's driving for blocks upon blocks and there's just mounds and mounds of garbage bags that people just put on the side of the road. You just go and go and go, it goes forever. Okay, it's cool. Huh? It'll take some time. Maybe we'll show it later if we have time. Like LA. And you see people living between it, it's not everybody. Says Gemara, Viramino, Matsukli, Tom Bashpa, Noitom Bashpa, get the Raja with Panos. Omar Azvid. Oh, so by us we said that if you find inside the the garbage, Noitom Machris, sorry, Matsukli, Bashpa, Machusan, Loi Gaboy. You're not allowed to touch it. And over here we're saying that if you find something Tomon, you should announce it. Omar Azvid, Loi Kashi, Hobe Kuve, Vichase. We're talking about larger items. Something small, something like a, a knife or a something large, don't touch. Somebody put it there. But something like a, a small fork, a, two, a two-pronged fork, let's say. Uh, a knife. So, so somebody lost it there. So be machriz. There's a saver called Nachlas Yosef. I guess he's Timani. And it was printed in Tafresh Salamach Dalit. He writes over there that if you go... If a Timani, he's talking to the Timanim, if Timani goes to Ashkenazi's house, since the Timanim, their minig was to eat with their hands, he says, you should know the Ashkenazim, they have a minig, a funny minig, they eat with forks. So don't be Mishana from the minig, eat with a fork. Then he talks to the Bnei Ashkenaz. He says, listen, you Bnei Ashkenaz also, if you eat by a Timani, don't expect him to give you a fork, you should eat with your hands. That's their minig, eat with your hands. So only them when exactly, within time of the Gemara, they eat with forks or not. Okay, says the Gemara, don't touch the larger things. You'll be familiar with this because we had this the other day. We're talking about larger items like When it's going to be taken away, then you have to announce it. But if it's stationary, then it's a great hiding place for whoever put it there, leave it there. As the Gemara Ashma Suili Panois Avidamidasi, if there's a garbage truck that comes a couple times a week and takes the stuff away, then if whoever put it there, he put it there deliberately, he wants, he wants to get rid of it. Why do you have to announce it? Ella Bashma Shayna Suili Panois, we're talking about that it's not the derek to take it away. The Nimla Khalel Fanois, the owner said, you know, I had enough of this, let me take it away. Now, the person that hit it there doesn't know that he's about to take it away, so he's about to lose his chayfetz. That, huh? Uh, this is Ash Poshaina also the Panois. You live in a place like this, Mendy? Now, this is the Jews' fault, I think, because. They attacked Gaza or whatever. I don't know, something. People, live, oh, people are dumping off their garbage. It's the, the Hemshif. That's where the... Okay. According to our Papa, we just said, we're talking about garbage that you're not supposed to take away. He thought it's not going to be taken away. And then he decided to take it away. Fine. So it makes sense. It, it, it mentions the words of Asli uh, Panis. El Razvid. Razvid says enough community between larger kalim, smaller kalim. So what shaykhs does it have to garbage? Are we about to take it away or not take it away? Says the Gemara. No, it's not. We're not talking about the garbage. Whether the garbage is something that you take away. We're talking about the kalim in your pocket, your watch. 
Small things, small items, the derech is that they fall out of your pocket, they fall off your hand, and they get lost. That's what he was saying. And memela, that, something that you should be machr, is rather than larger kalim, that the derech, it's not the derech that they fall, and those, you're not machr, is rabboisai, afreil chimpurim, yushikoyah for coming, tonight at 10 o'clock is the Hebrew shir. Shikoyah.